All righty, we really have to stop meeting at this hour. It's 12 a.m. and I'm here recording another video and I just got my second dose of Pfizer and it's hitting me really hard. So if I sound really checked out in this video, I promise you I'm not. I'm just really trying to survive this <laughs> second dose right now. Anyways, nonetheless, let's get into this. Everything new that I know um, about 2021 at Canada's Wonderland. What is going to be in place based off of my opinions and things that I'm seeing and the rumor mill, little birdies in my ear. Um, so I'll start off. Number one um, is you're going to require a reservation to get into Canada's Wonderland. Now, we already know that. But on top of that, you're going to probably need a separate reservation to get into Splashworks. So that's Splashworks and the reservation system. Number two, there's probably going to be no indoor seating available, no indoor seating restaurants, no indoor seating theaters, no shows indoors, no action theater. That's just a prediction. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the case. Um, number three is the two new rides are ready and operational for the season. So you'll have the cliff jumping in Splashworks and you'll have the family um, thrill ride over in the, it's not Planet Snoopy-ish area, but it's Planet Snoopy area, I guess. Um, number four is actually Planet Snoopy won't be operational. The back end of Planet Snoopy most likely won't be operational. Again, we're seeing a shortage of employees at all the Cedar Fair parks. And I think that what Canada's Wonderland is probably going to end up doing is not opening the back portion of Planet Snoopy. They're really young aged attractions way back there, which will probably make the other portions of the park extremely busy, especially the kids area. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. So, um, again, we went over the new rides will be available, cliff jumping and all that. We went over what I th uh, the reservation system for Splashworks and the Dry Park. Um, the back end of the Planet Snoopy won't be open. Um, and in terms of prep work, this was filmed. I'm out of breath. Oh, my God. I, I need to breathe in these videos. <laughs> um, the prep work continues. So Behemoth was prepped even further. The um, tarps were removed from all the brakes. And it looks like the park is moving forward with continuing prep. Um, and you're going to start seeing training taking place in about a week, a week and a half. Um, the weather is looking really bad this week, so we don't know what's going to happen there. But nonetheless, you're going to start to see them training again on weekends. So super excited. They're down to the literally four weeks until opening. Wonderland should be opening July 5th, just like you've seen other water parks and attractions announced in Ontario. <gasps> Run and breathe. <sighs> okay. Wow. Recording a video with a voiceover after you get your second dose literally hours ago difficult. Um, and nonetheless, like other attractions, you'll see Canada's Wonderland very soon announce a July 5th opening. The reason they may not be announcing it is, as you've seen with our government, they're all over the place and things change. So nonetheless, anything could happen. Um, and they're probably waiting for a concrete, like, you know, once we go into stage one and they know 21 days from there, they'll be like, okay, so they'll announce a July 5th. Again, Wonderland could open July 4th, July 5th. They won't open before July 3rd. They won't be ready. Um, but nonetheless, July 4th, July 5th looks really promising for Canada's Wonderland. So get those season passes ready. You're going to need them ready to make a reservation. You don't want to be last in line because th I, this place is going to book up really fast. I've seen any attraction in Ontario that opens up. It is doing swell. So I fully expect, just like we saw with the Toronto Zoo when they opened the drive through a fully booked reservation system, super difficult to get in, waiting lines, queues, and all that. So you better have super fast computers, um, and you better be ready as soon as those reservations open up. The minute I hear anything about the reservation system and how to make a reservation, I will let you guys know. So uh, follow us on Instagram, Amusement Insiders, plural, on Instagram. Um, that's where we update. Keep an eye on our stories. Um, and yeah, I promise I will update you guys and tell you how to do it and help anyone that needs any help. Also, if you have any questions, comment down below or message us on Instagram um, and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. I have two days off work over the next two days, three days actually, I think I took off for this just because the first dose did me bad. So I know this one's gonna do me really bad. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, now is the time to ask me. I'm gonna be laying in bed. Anyways, thank you so much for supporting the channel and watching my videos. Um, it means a lot. And uh, I just, I couldn't be happier with uh, where the channel's at. So thank you so much for supporting us. Hopefully you had an amazing weekend and I hope you have an amazing Monday. Bye.